Mm. And when you have two of your three heroes just straight up get countered, like at that point, yeah. you're in for a really rough time. Do you want them? Do you want them to just save that the core picks till later in the draft and have just the supports up front and then figure out how they want to play later? Or do you want to get them out of the front? Uh, I think that picking the TP was okay, but. I, I don't know. I didn't. I think if they were going to take a hero fourth, I would have liked to see something like the Nyx. Because you have to understand, when you pick a TB like that in the third position, you know what the follow up is most likely going to be. And it's likely going to be uh, the Tinker. And so if you're understanding of that situation, you need another hero that can more reliably catch. Mm. All, right. All right, let's get into that uh, second draft. Alan, thoughts? Well, I, I just don't, I don't think you, as a team that mostly wins games by Raven or Cuckoo or both snowballing, I don't think you can afford to put yourself in a situation where both of their heroes are, are, hard, are hard countered by the enemy team's third pick. It's, it is really just that simple. So PL ban, no surprise. Both teams value that hero highly. I, I actually... A little disappointed. I, mm. I hope I would get to talk about this Battle Fury PL build, a PL build with Will, but that that Cuckoo was actually instrumental in pioneering. I mean, we can talk about anything you want to. That's uh, we'll save it for the. We'll say. I, I think. I think it's it gonna might come, come back. Some, yeah, some, might come at back. some point in the main event. Uh, the Omni Band makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take it as I am. No, I ain't going once. to. And Bounty Hunter. This, so this, that's interesting because that's very much a scouted ban. Uh, Kaka Bounty Hunter has been. You know, obviously amazing the other day, but they had been mm. playing it before the tournament. Hope to see my boy Moogie play Slark. So do you wanna do you wanna reveal to to the public to oh, your to your adoring super, it was your adoring simple. public fans oh, why think, you wanted to slark? I think it's really good against TB. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it was as simple I, as that. I was making yeah. it more, I was making it more complicated than it. Yeah, I thought like, Will had this like mystery. No, no I cool. did too. I was looking forward you to this. Like, you just like pounce on him, and when he tries to sunder you, you can just like pop your ulti yeah. and kill him anyways. And, and chill. Unlike a hero like a, <laughs> unlike a hero chill. like AM, like Slark doesn't care about being reflected. Yeah, yeah. The reflection doesn't really when you when you're playing heroes like Luna and stuff. You hate Getting reflect. reflected is like, oh yeah, my god. Yeah, it sucks. Because you get all the the negative effects of it too. It's like, what? Your illusion's gonna steal okay. your stats? That doesn't work. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a devastating open by newbie. Uh, this is the we should mention in the last game, a little bit surprising uh, based on past history that it was actually uh, Kaka that was playing the disruptor. Highly atypical for them. Uh, Faith, an excellent disruptor player, and and this Naga Siren is just so scary as a first phase. Uh, Naga coming into this tournament was 23 and 8 yep. in 707D, mostly as a support. But you all, you always have to at least have in the back of your mind the possibility of a of a KP core Naga. Really, really frightening. You think we'll see more of, more of this as we go through? What? The Naga? Uh, I think it's, it's. Oh, the Naga? Yeah, I think so. I mean, she's like weird hero, like. Sorry, I was like thinking about that hero, because I, I keep thinking about Pango. Because somebody told me today, oh, it was Yanni that told me like, if Pango rolls, you can just net him. And yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know why that was <laughs> what I thought of, but um, I, I think it's interesting because sleep as a concept is so good, mm. right? Like we we have these ideas about things like that that we compiled on the various teams I worked on that like conceptually broken. So it's like yes. Pit Lord's ulti is conceptually broken. Arc Warden's ulti, conceptually broken. And Naga, I think, falls under one of those categories where you reset everything. You get to catch, you set up whatever fight you want. It's like a global break, you know? It's like a, yep. we messed up, reset button. Oh, Roshan, you're taking that? Don't worry, let me just sleep it, walk in, take it anyways ourselves. But it has way more, but the thing is, when people talk about sleep as a reset button, it actually has way more offensive potential than that as well. You can use it to set up spell combos on your side. One of the really enjoyable things to me, though, as you watch these patches, is you get to see really good teams. Like, they'll, they'll see something like a support Naga coming on in the Chinese and possibly SEA scene, and they'll try it out themselves. And I've actually seen, like, three support Naga games in the last two weeks by teams that aren't used to it screw up sleep combos because they're not used to the smaller radius on the level yeah. one sleep. No, uh, I think we saw it yeah, we in saw the that, previous game, we saw it just with yesterday. a team that can play with it. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. I was thinking of the uh, Planet Dog the other day, but yeah. yeah. But no, th this is the, the Dark Seer is, is one of Sam H's signature heroes. It is his most played, uh, or a, maybe second most played hero this patch. He's 6 and 0 with it. Mm. Uh, and and Dark Seer, not otherwise terribly successful. Yeah. yeah. 
They have good counters to it, though. Disruptor is really yep. nice. It's like one of the best. And they picked that Darkseer into that as well. If you're good at it, why not, right? Sure, but you also mentioned that you don't want them to get yeah, too want, many hard counters. To happen. You don't have the counters again, right? And it's funny because it reminds me, we've, we've, Will and I have had this conversation several times. Like, I, when I miss call drafts, it's usually because I put too much stock in in players and their tendencies, whereas Will tends to just go by mostly by heroes. And, uh, you know, the S Triple C Tinker last game was a really great example of where I'm like, well, S Triple C, he's not a great Tinker player. Yeah. And Will's like, what are you talking about? It's a sick Tinker game. That does, I think that does usually win. So you, you do have to wait the fact that this is not a great Darkseer game, even though Sam H is a great Darkseer player. I agree with that. Which means I agree with myself. Yeah, so. I was going to say, well, well done. Congrats on agreeing with you. Just pat myself on the back yep. here. Yep. Yeah. So newbie need to I, I actually would like to see them pick up a one or two right here and not reveal any information about the naga here's my bold hero super bold i would like to see bloodseeker from newbie Ooh. well that's a move oh, that's not that bold come on that's a mookie hero man it it it, it totally screws with the sand king and the darks here sure but it's not that bold. Like, Moogie loves that hero. You know what hero I don't like seeing him play? Monkey Joke? King. <laughs> you know, it's weird that you bring that up. He's why do you say that? Recently. Why well, what do, you do you mean? Say that? Do you think Moogie's like an excellent Monkey King? No, I think he's a very high volatility Monkey King player. I see. That's a... That's a Interesting way to put that out on this, how I'll say that. <laughs> Why? I, I know, I, I, I kind of, I, I, it's weird to me that you brought that up because I was watching some of his monkey games and he, he has games where he looks really sick on the hero and he has games where, yeah, I, I don't like it at all. You know, I think Mugi is an excellent carry who has improved a ton, like a, an absolute metric ton, but he is like, his monkey king leaves a lot to be desired. I, I think, I, I will say this, I think Moogie isn't, I think this is like the ideal meta for him right now. Oh yeah, I think it's I, I think he is so well suited. I'm just memeing because the last time, I, he was the only player I've ever seen miss two straight uh, <laughs> Jingu staffs. I so. like this SD pick a lot. I think Shadow Demon is heavily, heavily underpicked as a hero right now. You think so? Yeah. I, I think that I think he's he's pretty strong in lane, and I think he offers a lot of offers a lot of combo potential with cores on your side, and a lot of counter potential on the enemy side. I, that's not what I expected. Ooh, but the, it is the classic. Mm. Just pick like silencer mid if you're TNC. Go for it. And they they run that. They run that. They run the hell out of that. They actually run silencer core and support. Well, you I don't know if you can run them support anymore because they're sanking think plus. So. Yes, but I think running silencer core is not the worst. Five seconds. It would really I'm, mess I'm with newbie. Very happy to see Enigma in here. Yeah. He's great right now. There's Under they can't picked. pick Rubik. Underpicked as well. Yeah. yeah, no, they can't really pick I could pick Rubik, but it would be weird to do it now. Yeah, with that, that's with the, the dark seer in the sand. That's the weakness and, and same thing as we were just talking about the um it, that's the weakness of the um the three four open like this. But you you absolutely can't take a support now later on in the draft. So if you're new, if you're TNC now you have this like weird situation where if you take core silencer, maybe it doesn't fit with the rest of what you wanted to do. But if you don't take it, then what is, what is your idea behind being? Because yeah. the Enigma, the thing about him, and that was really cool about him in the past fall, is like this hero. If he doesn't have any natural counters, you know that at one point you will win a team fight. Yep. He he will win you the team fight, and the game just ends. That's like the, yeah. the really scary thing that you always have to like think about. Because once he gets BKB Blink Dagger, what's your deal? The KP yeah. smiling on the screen. He's like, <sighs> I think, I, yeah, I think TNC are really second guessing themselves here. I thought that I thought the Shadow Demon was a setup for the Luna, and uh, they're looking at it as yeah, they're oh, looking at it as we way. need a way to stop mm, okay. the we need Cancel a way to stop out. the black hole. Yeah. Yep, just means that you have to pull the void. And the thing though is like Nog is a great counter to Void. Yes, he just chronos and then you the, sleep. The absolute classic counter from from what was it, Ti five or six? I think it was six that you saw that featured heavily when uh, OG mm, were one of those two. I can't remember which it. one now either. 
It was one of those two we saw in all. Uh, it was six. It was definitely six. six. Yeah, it was. It was definitely six where that came back because it was something I was like, "Wow, I haven't seen this in five years." I yeah, I think I oh, man. I really didn't, I did not think that the, that the draft, I thought, I expected much more conservative straight up drafting in the series out of these two teams, and I think Newby has really put TNC in a corner uh, in both of these drafts, and, and, and a lot of it's been self-inflicted. Mm. Yeah, they've picked, I mean, in the first game, they picked into yeah. counters, and they're doing it again here. So, no, they've got much choice this time. Though. This is the classic, like, okay... I think we might be out drafted, but hey, Cuckoo, you play a sick, a sick SF, 10 and 3 this patch. Carry us, bro. Are his shoulders wide enough, Will? 10 seconds remaining. No. Yeah. <laughs> Will's measuring up on the screen. No. What do newbie do here? Anything OD? they like, Alan. Anything they want there, right? Yeah. They could I, literally play anything right now. It's and win this such game. an open hero pool. Um, I still like the OD, but... They could play a Quop here and win. Quop is just so <laughs> abysmally bad this patch. <laughs> no. the, okay, that's not... Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait, Hello? Wait, 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 wait. Viper? So that Viper means... is a Mookie hero, which is totally weird. Yeah. Well, what are these What are these lanes going to look like? Where is it? The Viper's it's mid Viper. here? So KP's going to take the Enigma. So this is S triple C Viper mid yep. Moogie Jug? Yep. Yep. Or do you think the other way around? Well, no. I, think it's, I think it's a Moogie Jug. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess we got to go newbie here. Um, I thought TNC would be a little bit better in these drafts. Is that a disappointing draft from TNC for you? No, I think TNC is going to take it. What? Um, Why? I don't know. I just kind of want to mess with you. Okay. I wanted to see Alan's reaction. Because I knew if I ah! said... Yeah, yeah, he's just like really upset looking. Trolls. I'm chill. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, debated. Uh, and actually, your real answer is? TNC. Thanks very much, Will. Uh, fantastic. Uh, brilliant. Uh, just see what I have to work with all day long. Uh, Nahaz and Will splitting the decision in game number two. Uh, but do the teams do that? Let's find out as we head into game number two. Newbie just one.
30 seconds to die. I cannot believe that worked! The battle begins. I'll take that as tribute. Structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower is under attack. I achieve final harmony. <laughs> I have your soul. Loaded in the What surge is this? I'll take your tribute. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's courier has been killed. Tonight, right? Radiant's invisibility is under attack. Thank <laughs> you. 
You've been disrupted. Radiant's top tower is under attack. My blade is swifter. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I'll take your tribute. Illusion! Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant are scanning. Loading. 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Elemental gold. is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Where do you think you're going?
Radiant's middle tower is under attack. of gravity. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. of battle. Loaded to the gills! I'll take your tribute. I'll take that as tribute. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant are scanning. Illusion! Radiant's top tower is fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Dyer are scanning. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh my. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack.
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I'm not really sure what that. I mean, you've got Spirit Vessel. I, I often see like Blink Daggers on Naga sometimes after that, but Aghanim Scepter with the heal can be a nice little reset tool. Sure, you can Blink Dagger. Now done for KP, so newbie themselves could expect to go again for some sort of movement as a group under smoke. They're going to bring down. KP to the bottom lane. Radiant are scanning. Why? It's a bit of a lag spike there. Not sure if that was us or them. Yeah, so okay. okay. KP is always going to be trying to target the I mean, Void and SF. Uh, Dyer's top tower is what under attack. Surge is this? Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Once. The Viper down. Mookie still sticking around. TNC. Going forward into this one, please. I'm allowing. Got to chase down with the movement speed that he has, but KP pops the BKB in the black hole, holding that SF in place. Takes him down. Sanking actually burrow strikes into the black hole as he tries to finish off Faith. Faith incredibly low. Does go down, but TNC, they've lost three. It's a triple kill for Moogie, and it may not be over quite yet as KP moving in with the Malefist onto Raven, slowing him down momentarily. Kaka surrounding 1437. He's got the net down onto the Void. Who Simple was too much for Moogie. So Moogie actually ends up going to TNC. They're keeping this fight going their way. Kaka down as well. And at the end of it all, despite Newbie being the ones that wanted to keep that fight going, they end up losing two more as the Shadow Demon is, is too strong. <laughs> that was crazy. The, I think Disruption Illusions of Jug helping kill him off. Uh, SD is actually very good against Jug. If you get his Illusions then purge him, you can blade. Really cool. It's like, oh, TNT. Okay. Air ahead, they chase. It seems like was actually wrong and over it. So, mis misplays or misreads, I guess, is probably more accurate from both sides in that fight. No, very, very close one though overall. 24 minutes and 2k lead for newbie, but TNC definitely showing us their team fight potential. It's the three radiant cores on top of net worth chart, but not mega concerning. SF is doing fine. Dark Seer, you know, it's not found by Enigma. That's kind of typical. That Void is still the main lingering concern. He struggles to farm, but he saved alive that fight, so too critically behind in terms of overall farm. See what the play is now for Newbie, I mean... More, maybe more the play for TNC, there's no black hole for a little bit. Yeah, and... they've got their own. Oh, okay, now 20 seconds. It's tricky against that Enigma. Cooldown reduction and all that. At this point, is going to be yeah, BKB, level 25, or even level 20, get the Shadow da damage. He's got a few peaks coming his way soon. And I don't think TNC actually want to fight. Problem is, the BKB, it doesn't really guarantee you safety and security against a black hole. 
Also, it can be a double-edged sword against the Naga Siren. If you AB and she sleeps and I suddenly isolated in the snare. Aether Lens, so very long cast range on this disruption. Sims? True life. Find that self deep in the jungle. Is under attack. He's out. So you want to play a pickoff game here. The big team fight is very much in newbie's favor with Naga and Nigma. Reset versus a Chrono. They have a black hole that can only be countered by a Chronosphere. Um, so if Chrono gets used in a fight, this Enigma just suddenly becomes the scariest thing in existence. You almost have to target Enigma with the Chrono. But at the same time to do that, you have to be positioned in the front, in which case Enigma may just black hole you. You're also exposed to Disruptor, and that's a really nice thing. Enigma would rather black hole the SF, so finding a way to kill the Void without Enigma's ideal, which is what Disruptor gives them. That silence there, so very likely, I mean, Void had a Yasha. I think a, a BKB has got to be on the cards for Raven this game, just so that he doesn't die to a Disruptor setup. He wants the only way for he wants the only way for himself to die to be that Enigma. Things will slow down. Both teams have item timings coming, particularly TNC with the SF, who level timings, I guess, with talent. Newbie, they also aren't in any rush. But late game with the best late heroes in Dota. Freshers was queued up, so newbies probably feel perfectly comfortable for this game to drag. And for TNC, I don't think they like the idea that this game's going late, but they also that's their best chance of winning is sure. getting these items and farm on Shadow Fiend. Yeah, absolutely. Void's always going to be a, an issue if you can get the good Chronos, and Raven definitely a player to do so. Absolutely just the slow down in pace. And maybe yeah, also just the, the upcoming Roche going to be the focus for both sides. And also a game where Russia yep. Shard wants it, so and obviously this time of the time once more after. It's a lot of big team fight ultimates, a couple of but those could certainly make the difference. Very hard for TNC to contest Roche, even with Chrono, because of how good Sleep is. Mm. Uh, black BKB, Black Hole around the pit. And just because of the fact, as mentioned before, you can't commit the Chrono too early on. Once you do, if Enigma is still alive or not coordinate, you, your teammates kind of fall themselves in a really bad spot. The Enigma is the number one. You would rather yeah, Chrono and kill an Enigma than, than the Jug, really. Maybe the, the jug. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Radiance bottom tower is under attack.
Radiant's top tower is under attack. The static stop but oh actually gonna be able to time walk up and can he actually escape the moogie look alts being used from both sides tnc take the aegis but it does cost them the life of raven this black hole he wanted to he had to i think he got, he got a bit greedy again but didn't get the two-man black hole um shadow fiend would have been the bigger kill there i think anything he should have just made sure he got the shadow fiend over the void perhaps he would have been exposed for the void to to right click him from behind with bashes but not quite the best outcome for newbie but also not quite the best outcomes for tnc and Mid -lane. Aegis being Aegis being taken out is, is nice so well, they've got the perfect setup onto moogie and moogie is going to get taken wow. down there on his own pushing the middle lane out didn't expect to be blown up that quickly by tnc just breaking the Aegis is such a big thing because now you know you're not worried about being high ground pushed. Black Hole was committed, so Cuckoo, you can see, just running in so aggressive. He's coming straight in. They've got the vacuum into the Requiem. Is this enough to set up for a kill? Kaka gets the sleep and time route to hold back the BKBSF. And that will be enough to get Kaka out there. That looked to be very close to, to being a big disaster for Nubian and mate. Still cost them some lives as Tim's indeed surged forward. Gets the Burrow Strike onto CCC. KP though! With the Black Hole onto three, catching them all! Bringing the SK and the Darks here down. The Static Storm is going to be enough to control the SF. KP turning up big time there with that Black Hole. And Tom, and that was absolutely perfect timing from him to turn up. Yeah. TNC's like, let's go. Yeah. They've got no black hole. Let's run at them. Let's take some fights. Oh, KP's like, no, I'm I'm farmed out of my mind. I've got a refresher. Yeah. His black hole would have been like 30 or 40 seconds cooldown. It's one of those scenarios where you don't really want to refresh because you've almost got it, but he's like, oh, I've got I'm we're gonna win this fight. If I refresh here, the game's in the bag. Absolutely perfect there. In the Great middle of it all. I mean 1437, yeah, trying to buy time for this SF. That's what he's got to do. That's his role this game is try and save people in the black yeah. hole. But when three people are co coordinate, it's a lost fight. And we, we've seen mostly black hole, you know, it's like KP's job isn't to get three man black holes. If you do, you clearly win the fight. But when he's going for these one man black holes, Shadow Demon is a counter to him. Often it's just the void, just the SF getting corona, uh, getting black hole. So uh, a good disruption can save their life. But that time around, there was no saving anyone. Great play, and really we're going to see the, the true power and threat of this late game enigma. Yeah. Double black holes. They didn't get any value out of that Roche, but hey, next Roche, we'll play for that, says Newbie, and this time around it'll be a triple black hole if we need it, as refreshes that will be on the menu. Triple black hole. I mean, what, there's already been one, there's been a triple ravage today. Earlier. Uh, are we, we going to see, yeah, a triple black hole? I mean, I imagine you do, yeah, you get the refresher shard to the enigma this game. It's so. yeah. like a small chance you could give it to Naga. Sure. Perhaps it's like if Naga uses sleep and enigma, Still has double black hole. You let her refresh quickly, but Naga sleep gets down to a pretty low cooldown at level three. So, I, I guess the big thing for TNC is can you and how do you contest that Roche? It's so difficult. We've seen the easiest, freest Roches ever for newbie this game. That second Roche like, happened so fast. We didn't even like notice it was going on ourselves. Oh, it was so quick. TNC were just dealing with lanes so far away. Cuckoo. Still racking up the gold yeah. though. Has pretty much the money for the Octary. It's at level 25 as well. Oh, 1437. He's found out in the tree line. You have Tim's. He's revving up the epicenter. Does he really want to go in on this? He blinks up to the high ground. Yeah, he doesn't want to commit for that. They've just got to let 1437 go here for sure. As he's rooted up, taken down. Actually, Raven. He pops the Chrono. He's trying to go in on this, but indeed the sleep reaction's there from Kaka. And with the Static Storm, Raven has been caught. I don't know if that was the play there. Ooh, he must that... have felt like he could catch the Naga. He was The Naga yeah. was right on the edge when she used the sleep, so he must have barely missed catching mm. Kaka as well. I that. mean, that's going to cost them big because now they're two heroes down. Neither of them have yep. buyback. And there's a black hole, so anytime SF, if SF gets spotted, he's just dead. He can't come close. BKB black hole will instantly be thrown at him. And hey, it's actually double black hole, so. Now this this is going to be so costly for TNC. That little Mages. awkward play around the, the mid lane, yeah. yeah. They can go for three lanes, theoretically, at least three melee raxes. What? There's no epicenter, there's no face this way. Away. 
Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 